G'day guys, Cam Wild Wild Touring and welcome to this week's video. This week I've come out to probably the most mosquito ridden place I know close to home to film something for you about how I'm managing mosquitoes and other bugs while we're camping now. As you know, always been a big fan of Thermosel. I've been running one for a couple of years and they work really well at managing mosquitoes. But the problem with Thermosel is it's quite expensive to run. So this year I purchased two other different devices that essentially do the same thing and I've been testing them for about four months now and I'm ready to, to tell you about them. So the reason the mosquitoes are so bad here in this area is because there's a huge freshwater lake there that's really shallow so the mosquitoes just breed up there, it's quite stagnant. It's actually a really beautiful spot, It just you just get smashed by bugs here. Anyway, I'm on the side of the road now. We'll shoot off a little bit further up the road where it's a bit quieter, there's less traffic and um, as it gets dark and the mosquitoes start to come out, I'll show you what I'm using. Right, I'm gonna try film this quickly because there are heaps of mozzies out and I'm getting smashed by them already. Unfortunately, I've got those genetics where I just get annihilated by anything that bites and sucks your blood, which is difficult when you spend a lot of time camping and outdoors like I do. So the way that I manage mosquitoes when I'm camping is through either covering up with long clothes or using DEET like Bushman's the higher the percentage of the DEET, the more effective that it seems to work. But I don't really like to put too much of that stuff on. I don't like to put it on my kids because I don't know how safe that is. I, I, from what I've heard, it's actually banned in some countries, not in Australia. But yeah, I'm just not too sure how, how great that stuff is for you. So I, I try to limit how much of it I use, especially on the kids. And then the third way that I manage mosquitoes is with these devices. Primarily, this is what I've used in the past is the Thermocell. If you don't know what it is, Thermocell, you've got a butane canister on the bottom there. This is the backpacker unit, which goes for 70 or 80 bucks. You slide an insecticide soaked pad in the top there, and then you ignite the thing and it heats the pad and um, produces a vapor of insecticide, which knocks out all the uh, mosquitoes in your area. That works really well. These are massive in the States. It's an American brand, and they're massive here in Australia as well. Been around for ages, works really, really well. The only thing that I would say about the Thermocell is that it is expensive to run. Gas canisters, not so much. Um, you'll get, I think of this size canister, you get 90 hours out of that. Or well, the bigger ones, you get like 200 hours out of them. And the bigger ones you can get from Kmart for like $4.50. So the gas is not too expensive. But those pads, the insecticide pads, 24 hours worth is 17 bucks. Now that doesn't sound too bad, but if you're away for a week and you're running this thing every night, that adds up really quickly. It is expensive to run. So that got me looking at other options like the Thermocell, and I came up with these two, Mozfog, which is an Australian brand, and Flextail, which I don't know where Flextail originate from. They all work similarly. They all produce an insecticide vapor to get rid of mosquitoes, but they, del they deliver it in a different way. So the Mozfog, um, it looks like a beer can. It's actually covered in a stubby cooler with magnetic strip on the back there, so you can stick it to the side of your car or whatever. This recharges via USB. The top opens up like that, and there's a wick in there. You pour 10 drops of this insecticide concentrate that it comes with inside this thing, top it up with water, screw the lid on, turn it on, and there's your insecticide vapor. So this works like a diffuser, like your oil diffuser at home or whatever. The battery inside this thing will last for four hours. There's 12 hours worth of insecticide in there. You can add an external battery pack, a Mozfog cell one, and then this little battery pack will give you 12 hours of runtime. Battery will last 12 hours, insecticide will last 12 hours. This unit is only uh, $59 to buy, and it comes with 200 hours worth of insecticide. You can buy an additional 400 hours worth of insecticide for 40 bucks. So this is 10 cents an hour to run, and this is um, cheaper to purchase outright as well, to begin with. I've been using it for four months, and it works just as well as the Thermocell. I also like that the Mozfog uses a um, naturally found organic insecticide. It comes from crushed uh, chrysanthemum flower heads, whereas the Thermocell and this other one I'm about to talk about both use a synthetic uh, insecticide. So yeah, I like that. Cheaper to run, cheaper to buy, um, naturally found insecticide, and yeah, it's a good thing. This other one that I bought, the Flextail Tiny Repel, I read heaps, or I watched heaps of positive YouTube reviews for this thing. Um, in my experience, I don't think it's too much chop. It's similar sort of price to buy outright. I've had to write some notes. It was 
uh, $78 to buy. It charges via USB, so it's battery powered again. 30 pads is $30. You get 10 hours each out of each pad. It uses similar pads to the Thermocell. Thermocell reckon you only get four hours out of a pad. This brand reckons you get 10, so I don't know about that. You use two pads at a time. It's got a slot for two pads there. So it works out to 20 cents an hour for the cost of the pad. So it's cheaper than the Thermocell. It's still more expensive than the Mozfog to run and to buy, but it just hasn't worked well for me. And I, I have, because it heats up, it's, it tries to heat these pads and release the insecticide similar to the Thermocell. But because it's doing it off a small battery pack inside there, I just don't think it gets hot enough. I've ran this thing for ages and I've tested the temperature using a temperature gun. Compared to the Thermocell, there is a massive difference in temperature and I think that's why this is not as effective. I think um, the insecticide itself is probably um, great, but just I just don't think it gets hot enough to be effective. That's my experience anyway. There is a lot of positive reviews for that online, so I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. But the Mozfog is the cheapest of all and it works really well. It's Australian owned company and yeah, I rate that. One other thing I was gonna say was, I've got a white light up here and I'm using that so that you can see me on camera. You probably notice bugs have been attracted to it. Mosquitoes are not attracted to white light. Mosquitoes are attracted to the CO2 that you expire. They're attracted to the smell of your perspiration and they're attracted to body temperature. So when you see people talk about mosquito zappers, like this little thing, this is 17 bucks from Kmart. And I do actually use this thing inside the caravan to get rid of all the little uh, midges and stuff that are in there when we're free camping sometimes. And you can see the moths are getting attracted to it now. That will not attract and kill biting mosquitoes. Um, they're not attracted to light, unfortunately. This is cool though, because you can use it inside your caravan or a confined space. I wouldn't use any of these inside a confined space. I'd want to use them outside um, in open air environment like I am now. If it's windy, they're not very, these aren't very effective because the insecticide obviously just gets blown away. But mozzies are not bad when it's windy anyway. They can't, I don't think they can fly properly when it's breezy and they probably can't smell your CO2 and your perspiration and stuff when it's windy anyway. But if it is just slightly breezy and you are getting bitten, um, you would just set yourself up so that you're sort of downwind of it so the insecticide is kind of blowing over you. Probably not right in your face, but just sort of over your body or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, really do rate that Mozfog. I think, I think this thing's brilliant. I think it's really good value. Um, I've been using that for four months now and it is gonna replace the Thermocell for me. And I love the Thermocell. I thought the Thermocell worked awesome. For someone like me who gets, you know, absolutely destroyed by mozzies and I come back with welts that are bleeding from being scratched and stuff, um, these things are a godsend for me. Uh, I bought my Mozfog, but uh, Mark and Debbie, the owners of the company, they actually live up in the Kimberley. Now, if you've been in the Kimberley, you know the mosquitoes there are big enough to carry you away. Mark, the bloke that came up with this, was actually a ranger in the Kimberley. So um, that, I think that's why he sort of set about trying to find a cost-effective solution to managing how bad the mozzies were up there. Anyway, Mark and Debbie, owners of this mob, have um, offered a deal uh, for my viewers. I've got a discount code set up with these guys. So if you buy this unit for 59 bucks, add that to your cart add the 400 hour refill to your cart. So you end up with 600 hours of refill because this comes with 200 anyway. And then when you put my discount code WILD in, um, it'll knock off the price of that. So you're only paying 59 bucks and you're getting 600 hours of insecticide. So that's a pretty good deal, saves you 40 bucks. Righto, I think I'll leave that there. I'm gonna roll my swag out, have some dinner, turn this Mozfog on, get rid of all these bugs and settle in for the night. Cheers guys, I'll see you in the next one.